Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my pre-preliminary leaderboard for Mr. Supranational 2021. Well, this will serve as my post-arrival and pre-preliminary leaderboard simply because all of my basis for this ranking is everything that I have seen after they arrive in Poland and everything that they did, everything that they posted, everything that was shown, the Supra chat, the top model which was which was held last night. I'm supposed to make my favorites for the top model but then I just decided I'll just go ahead and include that as additional criteria for this leaderboard for the pre-preliminaries and it's supposed to be a top 20 for the official for the official format but i just decided a top 15 for this leaderboard and these are my current top 15 pre-preliminaries starting with my number 15 south africa akshar birbal i am so glad that south africa performed very well in super chat and i was actually kind of surprised because he also gave a very decent performance in the top model and I'm very happy to see that. I am very happy because I think I am now seeing a much higher possibility that he could make it in the semifinals compared to before. My number 14, France. Fabienne Monasami, I love France so much and he didn't disappoint. He is very charming, very charismatic, but he needs to level up his game as well if he wanted to see himself standing in the top 5 in the grand finals. My number 13 is the United States, Felix Martin. USA is one of my favorites and one of the smartest speakers that we have in this competition. But for some reason, I am not connecting with him that much. And his performance in Top Model was okay. But I feel like something is lacking. I don't know what it is. But hopefully he'll prove me wrong in the preliminaries. My number 12 is Puerto Rico, Francisco Vergara. I like him very much. One of the candidates that really looked super polished well prepared and his performance in Super Chat was also one of my favorites. However, I am still looking for that spark that would make him stand out from the rest. I am hoping to see that as well in the preliminary competition. My number 11 is Ecuador. Mario Iglesias, when it comes to the overall aura and top model performance, I really like Ecuador but he really needs to step up his game because the competition is getting intense. However, he's one of the strongest speakers in this group so I, could really, I believe that could really help him a lot secure a spot in the finals. My number 10 is Thailand, Nipun Kiao Ruan. I'm not sure if that's how he pronounced his last name. I just want a clone of Thailand for myself because he is just so adorable. He is one of the most improved when it comes to my personal ranking and he is actually much much better than I thought. He did well in Supra Chat, he looks super handsome and he's also great on stage so I am keeping my hopes that he would deliver in the preliminaries. My number 9 is India. Rahul Rajasekaran. Rahul is one of my sentimental favorites and it pleased me so much to see him perform and deliver in the competition. With everything that I have seen so far from him, there is a really huge possibility for him to crack the top 5 finalists. My number 8 is Togo. Abdel Kassem Fridge. If there is one surprise that will happen in the finals, I believe it could be Togo. Everything that I have seen from his post-arrival just impressed me so much. He's great and he's, the, he's got that amazing and likable personality. I mean, he looked great and there's something about his aura that cannot be ignored. I mean, if I am as a follower myself, there's really nothing bad you can say about him. It's just so, so likable. So I believe that will work as well in his favor. My number seven, Nepal. Santo Chopalyaya. He may not be on top of my list, but I still believe, I personally believe still and wanted him to go very far because I know he deserves it. I am just glad that since post-arrival, he did not disappoint and he is performing very well and he nailed his performance in Supra Chat as expected because he is one of the threats when it comes to interviews and he proved that during that round. My number six, Peru. Varo Vargas, when it comes to the physical aspect, I mean he delivers. He is one of the most charismatic 
candidate this year extremely handsome and very striking appeal as well i think he's also a potential top five placer he just needs to do some polishing on his interviews and he could win this he is also in my list of potential winners this year my number five is spain lucas muñoz alonso Spain is one of the candidates who really proved me wrong. He kind of faded in my list before, but after seeing all of his performances post-arrival, I have come up to a realization that he's actually giving top-notch performances, especially during the Super Chat, which was my favorite of all of his performances that I have seen, so that was really good. My number four, Mexico. Gustavo Rosas. I am loving Mexico so, so much ever since post arrival he's very active in social media so you'll always be updated and he is just incredibly handsome and add on to that his amazing personality he's very confident plus he can speak very well too so i am dying to see him go all the way to the top five or who knows even when my number three is colombia manuel mulano well he proved that he is much stronger than he was in his previous pageants and is consistently strong his super chat was very good, but if he could be able to polish his in, her his inter, if he could be able to polish his interviews, there is a potential for him to win the entire competition. I mean, I don't want to discuss his performance on stage because we know that he will nail it no matter what. He's in the top three of top model, and he could actually win that round of the competition. But if he doesn't, it's okay because I know that he could still make it in the in the finals no matter what. Now, if he makes it in the top, he makes it in the top five. Just fix the fix the interview, and he could win everything. My number two is Venezuela. William Badel, undoubtedly one of the most consistent and strong performers in the entire competition. William has delivered very well in all rounds of the competition. I mean. What more can we ask for? The face, the body, the only thing that he needs to do is to give a winning performance and he could win the second title of Venezuela. But right now, this is a complete surprise to me in a very, very good way. But my number one pre-preliminary favorite for Mr. Supernational 2021 goes to Malta, Rafael Fiedler. I am so glad that Malta is finally getting the recognition he deserves after he arrived in Poland, I was already struck by his natural charm and handsome face. And his performance in the Supra chat solidified my love for him even more. I mean, he was so good. And his top three finish in top model adds on to his resume. So that's also good. He could be a potential upset in the top five in the finals. And I am not sure if you would agree with me, but I can also imagine him winning Mr. Supernational. And that makes me very very excited for him because i love him very very much so that's it this is my current top 15 my pre preliminary favorites for mr supernational 2021 who are your favorites so far don't forget to leave your comments below don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future for now thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines